Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to discuss problem of the day POTD that is reverse and stack. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. So what does question say? It says that you are given a stack ST. You have to reverse the stack using recursion. So now we need to reverse the stack but using recursion. Okay. If we look at the example, then initially if the stack looks something like 32176, that is something like 32176, then finally after we solve it, the final stack should be in this state 67123. The element should get reversed. Here the topmost element was 3, then 2176. Here the 3 is the bottommost element. 3 to 176 so it gets reversed okay this is our uh, this should be our output similarly second example is given here here it is said that we only need to focus on completing this function reverse and do not worry about the input expected time complexity is big o of n and expected auxiliary space is big o of n constraints are the size of the stack is at max 10 key power 4 the elements of the stack can range between minus 10 key power 9 up to 10 key power 9 and the sum of n over all the test cases does not exceed 10 key power 6 it means that if in one question there are multiple test cases then the summation over all the test cases from 1 to n of n that is the size of the uh, input of stack is less than equal to 10 key power 6 okay so this is given so this is our question now we if we look at it so the example which was given was something like this 3 2 1 7 6 and the output of it is 3 2 1 7 6 so now if we think about what approach can we use for solving this problem now if we look at the initial and the final state of the stack then the topmost element in the stack is the bottommost element here in stack we can access only the top element it means that i can only push one element here or pop out this element so if i want three to be the bottommost element i need to pop out all the elements the stack becomes empty then i'll push in three because I can access only the top element. Once I push in 3, then I'll push in 2, then I'll push 1, then I'll push 7, and then the 6. Okay. So, what here we need to empty the stack. Okay. And then, uh, first of all, we'll push 3. So, what should be our approach here? First of all, we'll pop out all the elements, store it in a data structure. Let's say 3, 2, 1, 7, 6. Okay. And then one after the other push into this stack. First of all, we'll uh, send the element three, then we'll push two, then one, then seven, and then six. So we will get this stack, right? Now the thing, uh, what we need to think about is the uh, good data structure which we can use here. Now, here what was popped out first? Three. What is uh, pushed in here? Three. Then we popped out two here, then we pushed in two. It means that the element which was first popped out is first pushed in. Okay. So here I need to choose a data structure which follows first in first out principle. Whatever I popped out three here. Okay. Then I pushed it here. The element which goes out of this data structure first is also three. Then comes two here also it goes out two. So I need to follow the principle of first in first out which data structure follows the principle of first in first out q so what i can do here is i can use a q in which first i'll pop out all the elements store it like this first i'll store three then two then one then seven then six then i'll pop out one after the other all these element and push it into this stack and i'll get my answer okay i hope you understood the question part and also the concept part how did we got the q here because we need the data structure which follows first in first out the first element which comes here again goes back into the stack okay after all the elements are popped out okay so this is the concept now if we look at the implementation part then how we can do this first of all we need a queue okay and we need to complete the function reverse okay so what i can do is it is void reverse 
and the stack is passed here I am not writing it first of all if I need to check whether stack is empty or not I am only writing the pseudo code here okay so first of all I will check whether my stack is empty or not if it is not empty then I will proceed further okay what I will do first of all if it is not empty I need to empty the whole stack first which we discussed in the concept part so I will put the topmost element in the queue so q dot push stack dot top right now I'll uh, remove the top element of the stack so stack dot pop now I'll recursively call this function until the stack is not empty right so if stack is not empty then only we are executing this okay so I'll call reverse and I'll pass in the stack now once it comes back here after backtracking we'll see the example you'll get a clear idea but I am just completing the code once we finish once we come here after backtracking what we need to do we need to push the to uh, first element of Q in the stack because now it has been reversed so stack dot push Q dot front okay and now we will pop out the Q so this will recursively uh, what we can say reverse the elements of the stack now here you will get a very clear idea this is our main function here the stack is 32176 and uh, uh, the queue is empty I called the uh, reverse function so what it did was it uh, until the stack is popped out until the stack is empty it will push all the elements in the queue so I get 3 in the queue and it is popped out from stack then I get 3 and 2 in the queue 2 is popped out from the stack here I get 3 2 1 here I get 3 2 1 7 here I get 3 2 1 7 6 now the stack is empty so I will backtrack the function now the first element of the queue that is 3 will be pushed in the stack that is 3 and it will be removed from the queue so queue will become 2 1 7 6 then now the first element is 2 so it will be pushed in the stack so it becomes 3 2 and the remaining queue is 1 7 6 then 1 will be pushed in the stack then 7 and then 6 ultimately the stack is reversed here and we will go back to our main function now let's run this code and check it so here is the code which I told you so if the stack is empty uh, sorry if the stack is not empty first push into the queue then pop out the element from stack then call the reverse function recursively then push the first element of the queue in the stack and then pop out the queue element okay so let's click on submit okay we have uh, passed all the test cases and it is in the given time okay so I hope that you have understood this question concept implementation part all three completely thank you